Hey guys, Brady here. And I just saw two back-to-back -back movies Thursday night. I saw Hereditary and Hotel Artemis. We're going to talk about Hereditary first. So, Hereditary. This is... I only saw one trailer. I didn't see much of anything else. But, <clears throat> um... This movie starts off with, like, text. Um... And it cuts to, like, a family at a funeral. And, um... The mother, played by Tony Coletti, her mother died. And, uh, yeah, and weird shit starts happening. Uh, I don't want to spoil, uh, say too much. I didn't watch the trailer. Well, I saw the trailer, but I don't remember the trailer at all. Um, but, uh, just in case the trailer didn't put anything that I say, that I say... No, just in case what I say wasn't put into the trailer, um, there's this really disturbing graphic imagery in this movie. Uh, mostly within the first half hour, 45 minutes of the movie. And after that, it's done. But, wow, like, <laughs> this movie has a lot of, I don't know, there's this one scene that happens in the movie that had my jaw dropping to the floor is like did they really just show that really i was like wow this how how this should be nc-17 this movie it shouldn't be r it should be a little bit higher that is wow um i don't want to say what it is i don't want to say what happens it's just it was just fucked up um but uh so yeah tony Coletti character her name is i forgot her name whatever uh she's a mother of two kids charlie uh who is a little 13 year old girl and peter who is her son played by alex wolf from the naked brother brand who was also naked brothers band i mean who was also in like jumanji uh patriots day and this that's all i can think of right now um uh, so uh there's like the mother in the movie, Tony Colletti, she pretty much like like miniatures of like events that happen in the movie, and these miniatures are accurate. And sometimes the director, this is a first time director by the way, he would the way he would like uh, shoot a scene is like very interesting. Like especially the opening shot, uh, it's it's it, it's in the trailer. So the op the opening shot's in the trailer. Uh, it's like this house. It shows like a tree house, and the camera like pans to this uh, miniature of the um, of the family's house, and you see the father, played by Gabriel Burns, walk walk into the uh, a room, and uh, uh, it's his son, and it's like that is really good. It, um, just see, stuff like that is what makes the movie uh, is like wow. It's like a good cinematography i guess the movie has excellent cinematography it just has weird imagery in it um although so did cure for wellness i love i think on popular opinion i think cure for wellness was a little bit better than this movie um or they'll kill that scene in cure for wellness where he has to pull out his tooth that uh that gets me that's you and then you hear the root snap oh Anyway, back on track, but yeah. So Charlie keeps making, keeps making like this like clicking sound with her with her teeth, and um, prepare for that's like the big thing in the movie, um, and it provides some not jump scares. There uh, there's like little to no jump scares in this, which is probably like one one jump scare because the uh, this is supposed to be like a non like commercialized horror film like. A remake to Friday the 13th would have like 1,500 jump scares. It says like one. Um, this one jump scare is really effective. But um, so yeah, you, you dive into like Tony Collette. She goes to like a uh, not an AA meeting. She goes to uh, like this. Um, what is it called when you lose a loved one? It's like not a not. Not a funeral, but she goes to like this place, and it's, it's kind of like an AA meeting, but it's not. It's just people sitting in chairs and they're talking about their lost loved ones. 
Um, she goes to one of that, one of those. Then she meets this this woman, um, and this woman tells her about. Uh, it's like, oh, she like pretty much helps her communicate with ghosts. Um, like try to communicate with her uh, grandma, uh, not grandmother, her mother, and um, yeah, and then yeah, you could see where that leads to, uh, and yeah. So, Tony Coletti is just, like, she, it's explained in the movie that she, like, sleepwalks and shit, um, and that, um, there's this thing that, that she did, uh, when Peter, her son, was younger, and, um, pretty much scarred him, because she slept walk and did something, and was about to do something to him and, to him and his little sister, and that scarred him, and he doesn't really trust her that much, um, and so there's like these, there's a lot of tension between them when whenever they're on screen together, um, like she would like sleepwalk and somehow wind up into his room and do something. He wakes up screaming and he's like, "You try to do this." And he's like, "No, I wasn't trying to." She would be like, "I wasn't trying to do that. You were just dreaming that." Stuff like that. Um, and then her husband, played by Gabriel Byrne, uh, thinks she's like crazy and stuff like that, and it's like, "Stop, stop doing this. You're tearing us, tearing us apart." And, all the other shit, um, but yeah, and then the ending to this movie, I, I, I don't know, the ending to this movie is also a little bit weird, um, I don't want to say what happens throughout the movie, but it's just, it's, there's just a lot of weird stuff in this movie, I, I, I'm not sure if I enjoyed it or not. There's stuff that I liked, and there's just stuff that it's like, wow, that's that's just that's that's weird. Um, they show you in a trailer a bird hitting a window, and then that the uh, the daughter cuts the bird's head off. That's just like one. That's just like one of the fucked up things in this movie. Uh, I'm glad they didn't show you the other the others. That that alone is just. Uh, the kind of imagery you're going to get in this movie. And it's realistic looking too. I mean, this movie has stuff like that. And it's not fake looking. It looks fucking realistic. Like, it's not like... I don't know. It's just... I doubt it was a real bird they cut the head off of. But it just looked fucking realistic. Like, I don't think it was CGI at all. I think it was like a prop bird. Um, like an animatronic bird. But, uh, yeah... Stuff like that is what you're in for in this movie. And it is just... Like, the first half of the movie, nothing really scary happened. It's mainly saved for, like, the second half of the movie where shit hits the fan. And, yeah. Um... Although, after seeing the trailer after I saw this movie, they did spoil a few things, I believe. Yeah, they did. They, they definitely spoiled. Don't watch the trailer for this movie. Go in completely blind. Uh, there's this one scene towards the end of the movie um, that happens. And I don't think the director meant it to be funny, but it was. It was just... I'm going to say it's slight spoiler warning right at this moment. Uh, the mother is, like, hanging on to the ceiling. Um... In her son's room. And uh, her son is like hallucinating things. And then um, as he turns around. Uh, he turns around but he doesn't see his mom. But then you just see it like out of the corner of the screen. Like the mother like crawling around crawling around the ceiling. Jumps and then like swims her way out the door in midair. I'm like what the fuck? My, my friend and I we lost it at that. And then. These two girls who were sitting in the row behind us were laughing at that scene too. So it's like, was was that that was not meant to be funny, but it was. It was it was hilarious. Um, just she's swimming in air, and it's like, what what is she doing? And yeah, that's that was definitely a goofy moment. Not meant to be goopy, but it was. Um, I don't know how I'd 
rate this movie. I don't know. It, it's effective. really is. Um, I don't know. I think I'd give this movie like a three and a half out of five stars. Um, would I see it again? I don't know. I don't know if I'd see it again. Uh, I had to think about that. Uh, if you have seen it, comment below what, what you guys thought. If not, then I don't know, see it, I guess.